Hello and welcome to episode 10. Episode 10, we finally did it, of the PBS Rimworld playthrough. I promised you guys 10 and I've delivered 10. I've stuck true to my word, but mostly that's because of the fantastic story that's kind of unfolding before our very eyes. So some big things have happened in uh, episode 7, 8 uh, and 9. Obviously the kidnapping and subsequent demise of Ewolf has happened. Um, the blossoming love between Rich and James, um, which is in its very still in its very earliest days, Matt has been up well and then incapacitated and then well about four hundred times, um, and of course uh, Emily, um, we have had to sadly slaughter Emily for her horse meat due to her um, turning into a manhunter after the unfortunate uh, death of Ewolf. Um, so I had a look back at the footage of Nine, and I wondered why when Emily was shot here everything exploded and there was a huge fire. Basically, one of the tribes people that were here um, was actually eating a meal here, and he was stood in this doorway, and he had a grenade launcher. So that's why there was a large explosion here. It wouldn't have happened otherwise. I was wondering why that happened, but there was a guy stood literally here, uh, and he grenade launched Emily to death, which is a bit unfortunate and a bit harsh. But um, we seem to have settled things down a little bit. Defenses are looking good. Northern defences, eastern defences. We are going to work on the southern defences uh, as a priority this episode. Um, but also, you will see um, some of the trees now. We are in autumn. We are in the fall. So um, we are basically heading towards winter um, quite quickly. Um, so again, I also realised another little mistake I made. The reason why these aren't being harvested was because I believe I took Matt off when we were in a bit of a... Um, uh, having a few issues, I took Matt off Grow, so James can actually do this as well. So we'll let these two guys, they'll, they'll harvest these now. Now, whether we've actually got enough room in the fridge is a different is a different story, um, but we'll see how we go. So let's play out episode 10. Let's see what other delights uh, await us. Oh, and we also survived the onslaught of the, uh, the Mad Geese as well, which was nice uh, to get done. Now, what I might need to do is just up the bills a little bit to eight, because we need to start burning some raw raw materials if we're going to um, be able to fit all of this stuff in because we've got rice, corn and potato. In fact, I, there's actually no way we, we fit all this in. A group from the Bourne Coalition are visiting. They seem to have some items for trade. Okay, we're in a position now where everybody is alive, so we might actually be able to trade with them. Um, we're also running out of storage space here. Um, as you can see, the guys, there's nowhere. We're kind of full storage-wise, so I might... Um, have to think about that as well. Um, I think priority though, it will be to get the southern wall in and then we'll see where we go from there. But um, yeah, where are these visitors then? Where are you at? Ah, here we are. Now, obviously the last time we had visitors, these guys don't seem to be packing quite as much as the last group uh, with grenade launchers and stuff. Um, we could get James just to say hello. Let's see what they've actually got. Um, to trade something interesting so they've got oh christ they've got nothing they've got pemmican they've got a smoke pop pack defensive smoke screen okay they've got some herbal I mean, they've got literally nothing and they don't want to buy any of our stuff uh i mean we could sell we don't really need all of these weapons i mean we could see you know, i mean but it's kind of that would free up some storage space i suppose so i think james has got get rid of the bow that'll clear a little space we'll get rid of the knife we'll keep the clubs and we'll get rid of this um, we'll sell that to them that'll do just clear a little bit of storage space if nothing else and then the lads can at least just deal with this problem so that kind of helped uh, short term so like i said we're kind of now hinging on the next big event um we are almost there with beer brew i think actually we need to inject some i think everybody needs a beer so as soon as we get this researched um we'll crack We'll crack on with that but we're now at the game's mercy yet again waiting for the next uh, big event so the speed up overnight which is up nice so yes we'll bump this up now what i might do as well is what we could do because we've got so much food is we could actually do fine meals for everyone um none of your colonists have the skills oh no one has cooking six so we actually can't do this anyway that's sad i was going to maybe go for fine meals Okay, well, I have to stick with simple then. Um, is anyone kind of close to... What's Rich got? He's got five, so he might... He's got average... Okay, he might get to... If he gets to six, that might be okay. Um, 
it's rich again with his clothes. It's because of the parka. I think we need to... I mean, I've still got a bill to make the parka, but we just don't have the ingredients. Um, we've got 42, 36, 42, 61. So we just don't have the raw raw ingredients to actually make another parka to replace riches. Um, how much does toques take? How much do these actually take? Oh, you can only craft from the wool for the toques. So we don't have any of that. So alpacas or cloth. Okay, if we see any alpacas, they're getting lasered. I mean, there is muffalos here, but it's a large kind of herd. Oh, hello. There was some more iron which dropped when we spawned in. Dead guinea pig. Um, so we need, I would rather fight kind of alpacas than muffalos, uh, whatever they're called. There were some alpacas on the map earlier as well, I kind of missed them, which is a little bit annoying. There's bisons here. I mean, we could attack one of these. I don't actually know what happens. The only thing is it'll be Matt kind of doing it. Right, the visitors are leaving, that's fine. Um, so we do need Matt to hunt for general leather. We need to, if we can make another parker for Rich, that would that would kind of help. So let's find something for Matt to hunt. Ah, yes. Hunt these. Don't hunt that. Go and hunt these two alpacas. Which would be good. Um, so we're still, everybody's still doing their thing. We're now up to seven mils, which is really nice. Um, kibble production, yeah, is still happening. That's good. So they, they do eat quite a lot in one go. That's that's part of the problem. Maybe again to burn some resources. Um, do until we have four kibble. I don't know why this is red. Why is this red? Matt's out here slapping an alpaca in the face. Nice. Come on, Matt. You got this. Yes. Oh my god, straight onto his mate. No. No. F what an absolute chad. Matt baited the other alpaca, thinking that he was possibly going to revive. This 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 one here, and absolutely, hundred percent shot this guy. Every single bullet hit. <sighs> Who needs Mark, eh? Who needs Mark? Uh, right, let's deconstruct this, and then we can put the southern wall in. We've got three fifteen. Um, I'm gonna mark some more of this for mining as well. Just to tidy that up. No, ideally as well, longer term, we want the walls double thickness because grenade launchers and stuff can bust through these, but we won't be coming up against raiders with that kind of kind of heat just yet. Um, where's Rich? Oh, he's picking up dead alpacas. That's absolutely fine. Um, so that's cool. So we should get the wool now to be able to actually craft the hats uh, that we're trying to do. We're also going to get another like shed load of meat. Um, I don't understand why this is crossed out. Now we don't want to suspend it. Uh, oh, because we have we have 34. We actually have more than is necessary. Um, okay, so I'll say it waits for it to run out, but it, it crafts a whole stack. It's a little bit weird how that works, but it's fine. Right, Matt is now, now the corn. You get a lot. You get a lot of resources from corn. So again, we are actually probably need to do something with this. So let's... Um, I kind of don't really care about that. Let's just do that. Um, which, have we got enough wood? Yes, we have. So let's get this in, and then we're, we're just going to have to expand in here, um, because this is crazy now, the amount of food we've got. Uh, it should be okay. We, we can we can mine this out. It should be all right. Otherwise, we're just not physically going to have enough space for all this stuff. Um, so when Rich is mount construction... Construction just rich. Matt can do it though. I might have to put him on construction just to get it moving. Because yeah, we are at full capacity now. This is which is good, but we need we need more space.
Um, this is, I mean, this is just so heartwarming. Um, let's just see how they're getting on. I mean, <laughs> even though Mark's dead, still like him. But look at this. This is just, just such a, just a beautiful, a beautiful thing. Um, it really doesn't like Matt. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. But Matt is, you know, like I say, he's been probably the the, the kind of hero of the uh, of the group so far. Um, so yeah, expanding the fridge. Let's get that done. Um, Rich is going to cook the meals up to A, and then Rich should get up here and get a move on with this. Because yeah, we have not got any room whatsoever. Sadly, here we go. Please get some wood. Oh, is he going for the second alpaca? Going for the second alpaca, okay. I think butchering again classes is kind of cooking, so he's going to do it as a bit more of a priority, which is fine. But we really need to get this fridge uh, expanded, and then we are good to go. And it's raining. Lovely. Um, major break risk. Yeah, it's because you're out in the dark, mate. This is the thing, because Rich gets up so early. Um, and he's still got this. Once once this passes, he'll be fine. I think. I hope. Um, and it's raining, which is going to kind of make them annoyed. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Lots of people having break issues. Um, I might actually just, to get Rich to build the fridge, we're just, I'm just going to dial this down to six. Um, so then once he's done that, hopefully he just gets on with the construction up the top, because, um, yeah, nice. Good job, guys. And then we just need to deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct these here. And that will give us a little bit more space. So let's, we need to deconstruct all the walls first, and then we can extend the fridge. Again, we might need to think about a second cooler, possibly, um, to actually keep this... It's still minus six at the moment. It's kind of okay. Um, we can potentially, so we can square this off. We'll just mine this out slowly over time, but for now, um, nice. So let's put the rest of the floor in. Concrete floors here. And what we'll do with the storage zone is uh, expand the zone to here. So we won't, we won't fill in that space there, but it just means the guys can now, like you say, they've got a lot more space to store the rest of our crops in because this otherwise is just going to sit out here and start decaying as you can see uh, spoils in spoils in 60 days but it does kind of decay a little bit quicker right. which is struggle by now I don't think we're, I, I'm actually going to delete this these grow zones I don't think we're going to have time to actually grow it before we get to um, the uh, winter months I think as well we need some we need some more kind of I think it would be nice to get everybody playing poker together. How many cloth? Oh no. A mad muffalo. It will attack anyone it sees. Where is it? It's coming from the south. Uh, okay, so let's let's not mess about. We need to finish this bottom southern wall as well. Here he comes. All right, Matt. It's a big old animal. This might take quite a few shots to, to deal with. Nice, guys. Actually, we need the wolf in this. Anyway. Please hit me, Matt. Nice. Well done, everyone. Cracking job. Um, so this is only knocked out again. So... Matt, finish it off. You guys are undrafted. Right, it's dead. Excellent. Undraft. Good job, everyone. Really good job. Um, so let's also now think about the wall. Steel. We have 400 steel, so we're actually in a really good spot. So we're going to have the steel wall. We'll do the first section here. Um, yeah. Let's then deconstruct all of this. finish the southern wall. Now the southern wall, to be fair, I am tempted. We, did, we will need to get out here, I guess. 
Uh, we'll do a similar style kind of defensive uh, structure here, I think, to get that done. Matt doing a cracking job. He's still, what he's still not the best at construction, bless him. But he's he's trying his best. Rich is a bit more, uh, a bit more reliable on that front. Um, now we should have blue fur. Now this should be enough now to make the hats. You need twenty ingredients. So yes, that's going okay. Fingers crossed on that one. Let's get the time back rolling. Um, good. Fridge expansion complete. Nice map. Right now he's doing that. Let's get the, uh, the second half of the uh, of the wall put in. We'll put the door central, and we will get in some additional. We'll put some of these barricades. Like I said, we'll do a similar, similar kind of thing, just so that we can easily retreat. And uh, we'll actually hold these, I think, because uh, we're uh, we can get back to. I want to get back to actually. I think we, we deleted this bit, but let's. Like I said we're kind of we're kind of there. Let's get ten more sandstone blocks done, because um, I'd like to kind of just neaten up the path a little bit. It's a bit kind of crap. Raid. So they're attacking immediately. Okay, so Lercum. So Rich, sorry. Matt. James, for backup. So he's attacking immediately. So he's like absolutely zooming. So we need to. This is the other thing. We need to get here. Uh, get set up. Come on. I assume he's going to attack here. We're a little bit late to this party again. Oh my god, he's going round. He's going round. Uh, Matt. Quick. Now, this could be a problem because we're not set up early. So actually, I don't want Matt to go outside just yet. I don't think he can get through the door. Oh, he can't get through the door. Guys! James, melee him to death, please. Rich, careful. Nice. Okay, so we need to basically sort this out as well. All right, let's undraft everyone. Um, okay, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Uh, okay, Matt's taken another another whack. All right, we need another grave as well. Then, Christ. This is all starting to go wrong again. Uh, miscellaneous, another one. The list of raiders grows. Ah, James getting on with the uh, the stone cutting. I respect it. So this is the this is so I think we need to say so he didn't attack here. He kind of blew up. So maybe this is where the, the AI consider the weakest point in our defences to be, uh, which is highly, highly possible, to be honest. Um, so that's fine. I think in future we can kind of definitely just prep around around this defence. So we kind of needed to know that. Um, the, the AI obviously thinks that this is um, the, uh, the easiest point uh, to attack us. I disagree. Um, obviously we set up nicely in the north and uh, yeah, didn't quite get it. So Matt, like I said, it's taken another another fair old beating. This time, just some just some club bruises and a punch to the face, a punch to the arm, shoulder. Yeah, be fine, absolutely fine. Right, it's raining in a couple of days, mate. Back at it. Um, now we're almost out of space up here. See, this is this is the thing with corn. You get so much from it. It's actually kind of ridiculous. So we're in a. I don't think we need to worry about food at all. Um, I think we just need to focus in on now getting ready for winter because that's where things will go up a notch. It'll get very, very cold, very, very fast. Um, we need to actually think about heaters in the rooms rather than bloody coolers. And now we can obviously we can we can turn them off. Uh, that's the, the simplest thing to do. We just turn the coolers off in the winter. Um, 
but we'll probably need to put heaters in each of these rooms as well otherwise um, it will cause us a problem uh, like I said, temperature is this is three degrees outdoors already so it's getting cold kind of anyway so I'm kind of hoping that we crack on with these now because the fur isn't actually in storage I'm wondering if this is going to cause a bit of a problem with it, with the game not thinking that I'm going to expand the zone down here just so they can move this because I think until the fur is in storage yes yeah, so it doesn't appear doesn't appear on here um, so hopefully James will do that after he's finished looking after Matt see he hates him but he's still oh he's rich sorry um, James obviously wouldn't be seen dead um, I also before all that kind of stuff happened I think we said we were going to Okay, let's get a little chess table. I think, you know, a little 1v1, little 1v1 chessing. I've kind of never heard anyone did it. So let's get that in. So let's give them a different recreation uh, opportunity. Obviously, it's in Richard James's bedroom, but I think, I don't think they might. They'll be alright. Okay. James, absolutely on it. How many of these have we got now? 28 plus 28. No, he's really going for it. So I think let's kind of... What I want to kind of do with this is I've noticed that people are walking sort of sometimes along here. So I think we'll just double up the path everywhere. Like this. Um, and in some cases, triple up the path. In fact, I think we probably will do a triple path. But I think, this, as I say, this stuff takes quite a lot of time to, to put down. Um, so we'll we'll see how we go. I think we'll just uh, we'll do the triple along there, so they can crack on with that, and eventually we'll do a run down here as well. So we've got kind of a nice path area uh, at the very least. And actually, let's um, let's fill this corner in here as well, because they're uh, again they're regularly kind of traversing these two doors. So uh, now we do need to do this and we do need to bury this guy because it's going to be an issue if we don't um, uh, we need to allow the, the wooden club as well I, I think we just let it deteriorate it's actually kind of pointless um, we don't want that because we've already got better clubs in there that we could use nice rich now oh, once you've done that sweetheart could you uh, do me a solid and uh, dig a grave please that would be appreciated so we're doing okay with wood because because we've been deconstructing barricades so we haven't actually had to um do anything with trees in kind of a long a long time oh these nice james you can haul these as well then. um some more sandstone chunks here to help with uh, the flooring doors are in trees going down matt almost back almost back with us which is good great news Right, grave is dug. Um, somebody needs to deal with this problem, please. Um, I think because of Rich's mood, let's get James to do it. Can you just just deal with this first, mate? Rich is in a kind of a bad way. Um, so if you could deal with that problem. This is a bit of a reminder as well to the South that don't, don't fuck with PBS. Just don't, because we have here the untimeries of Lurkham, Diana, oh, I forgot about her, eaten by the dogs, Baiko, which was a scout, Froyo, again another one, Kruka, Raka, Wally, Wally caused some, some havoc, and Watkins, of course, which was the first ever failed failed attempt. But as you see, we are much more secure now. So any like boomalopes and stuff. Also, I would really like to get auto doors. So so you can hold open but until we upgrade the doors to auto doors we can't lock kind of lock down um, which would also be kind of useful now the other thing as well that with the kill boxes that you deliberately leave a door open and then we would have you know barricades and stuff to, to, to so you can kind of trick the AI into uh, into walking into a gunfire so Rich has got quite a bit of construction so this is actually looking quite kind of nice now it's actually I actually prefer it doubled up and in fact that's um, rather than do it like a half assed job let's actually add the third so we'll do it like a triple 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 path so it's always three wide wherever you go nice um yeah i don't think we're going to get to here growing period yeah it's not gonna happen not gonna happen but it's okay 
Uh, Matt should be back on his feet anytime soon. Like I said, we need to be better prepared for these raids. We're, everybody's kind of all over the show. We haven't got quite a big area. I mean, this is good because when we, if we can get some more colonists, we can build some more bedrooms up here. We can, we can mine this out. We'll have some space, more space for bedrooms and stuff back here. We also need... I want to get James doing something arty. Um, so let's... Have we got any trees we can cut down in base? The, uh, matured that to cut I don't think we do yes we do um, or any just close to but I don't want to go too far we can just chop these down as well then yep then that's fine then I think I think let's focus on we'll focus on a bit of an expansion here um, so we'll have someone for James to kind of express his um, artistic creations so let's build a wall of wood up here I think James I think his own his own space is important I think any kind of artistic endeavor um, you know you need to you need to have a you know Zen right you need to have a, a safe space to do it I think with floors as well what options do we have we could do I think we'll do paved tile yeah, we'll do paved tile. We'll, do, we'll make it nice. We'll make it nice. Uh, we're going to need lights in here too. So we're going to need a couple of wall lights, probably. Which we'll put here and here. Nice. They should power up okay. Um, but also, we'll continue our triple floor. It just makes it it's a lot faster for them to walk on. It's actually probably worth like, extending out to there as well. So we'll get these trees cut down. Uh, these guys are chilling and passing through. I'm not bothered by them at all. So the guinea pig can probably be fucked up as it's just here. It shouldn't be here. Um, nice, Matt. He's like seriously smacking things up right now, which is good, which is where we want to be. Um, James chopping down some trees so we've got enough wood to do what we need to do. So Matt kind of struggles with these. They did say hi to each other then. Maybe there's a sort of... No. No. Really, really dislikes James. But he's tolerating. He's tolerating, which, which is nice. And at least they're kind of sort of trying to get along. Um, so we're, we're kind of beautifying now. So this is actually this is going to help with the kind of beautification of the... Make things kind of nicer to look at uh, around here. Also, kind of actually, we haven't got that many sandstone chunks left. I think actually James has probably done 10. I'm getting to do another two maybe. How much of these have we got? 75, 33. We've got a lot. But if James can just bang a couple more out, blocks out, we'll just be, hopefully have enough to finish off the path, uh, get that moving. So we still haven't built these either. And there we go. Matt is on it. So the guys can play chess together. Big step forward. Why are you outside of here? There's obviously some home area issues. Yeah, so I don't want the dogs really out of here because it's just kind of annoying. So let's just tidy this up a bit. There's no need for them to be out there. I mean, they're doing nothing in terms of uh, adding to the uh, defences. But I just don't want them outside of the compound really obviously they can go here I suppose it's fine uh, same with up here just don't want them leaving the barricade okay we have a little event kicking off every mail call list smiles with contentment some distant engine of happiness is stirring it is projected a psychic drone onto this site through an orbital amplifier tuned in for only to only affect males for a few days some people's move will be quite a bit better nice so Matt now is Psychic Soothe. It's plus 16. This will help Rich as well, because Rich has been kind of on the edge. Psychic Rich gets a 16 as well. Now, how many days left are on this? 21 days. So this will just give Rich, hopefully, stop whinging for a couple of days, uh, which would be nice. We have the uh, Chess Arena uh, set up as well. We're good on power. I think I would like actually to mine this out here, because this is just kind of untidy we'll get those done when the guys can do it although they haven't managed to get around to this yet and I did set that up a fair a fair bit uh, ago 
Um, so we've got some more food going in. Okay, this is actually looking really positive. That'd be really nice to get another survivor. You know, we were, we were at four. You know, when we had um, when we had Mark here as our Diana potentially was a fifth, but we never really had the full manpower because somebody was always injured, someone was always dead, someone was always kind of hanging on for dear life. So we never actually got the kind of production throughput. Like I said, we just haven't got time for research and all this kind of stuff. So um, hopefully we get an opportunity via a quest or something soon to actually kind of bump up. Uh, bump up the numbers as it were and um, get the guys going again so let's speed up over night time while all the guys are all asleep James and Rich continuing there the great love affair um, and he's up nice now let's get I think we'll draw close to this episode shortly as we're kind of approaching the normal the normal time slot I think I would like to get uh, James's area finished I think they're probably prioritizing all of the path uh, that I've put down um, but we have actually run out of the chunks now, so I think they'll probably kind of... We've only got 26 wood. Uh, okay, that's the problem. So, because I think a lot of the wood reserves went on the chess, uh, the kind of chess board and the, uh, and the dining chairs. They're quite expensive, actually. Um, I think as well, if there's any heel route that's close, we can just do it. here for example the map because the thing is rich is doing a lot of the kind of lifting side of things so how much we've got 45 anything that's close will nab when james wakes up just to keep it just to keep the reserves kind of topped up so the pub is looking really nice now it's looking really cool um but we need matt i'm going to take matt off construction so that he can actually because he's kind of cocking it up a bit um but he'll hopefully go and cut down all these trees or again I think shrink this zone. Let's just don't don't plant anything outside of that, mate. Just don't bother. It's like it's not gonna be done in time. Um this will then continue to be our kind of um uh, see look and Matt's planting everybody's plants in the bedrooms. Proper nice guy. Because he still hasn't been able to crack on. Did I take him off tailoring? No, Matt is still on tailoring. But I think he's got so much other Kind of stuff going on because we've had him hunting in the absence of Mark. He's he's dealing with this now. Um, Rich is uh, smacking through. We still got some more sandstone. James will have to let's do let's do another five, James, please, to get just to so we've got enough to finish off. Oh, what is that? Our oh, beautiful red brick road up here. So it does take a long time to lay, but I think the uh, the visual effects are are worth it. Excellent. Things are moving along nicely. I think, well, like I said, this is episode 10 now. Whether you guys want me to continue doing some more, if you do, if there's enough demand, and by I say, I mean enough demand, I mean one person. If there's enough demand, then I'll probably carry it on because it's been just a kind of a fun playthrough for me anyway. Um, and we'll see how our lovely uh, PBS friends continue their journey. But I think, like I said, priorities for the next episode, if we do one, will be to obviously finish off James's art studio. We'll continue with um, advancing try and settle some of the jobs down get rich really focusing on the research i'd like to get the brewery set up as well i think that'd be kind of nice i think we can look to set the brewery up somewhere we've got quite a bit of space over here we could also you know i think the whole bedrooms individual bedrooms idea has just been smashed apart by the love here and also the fact that everyone else is dead so we could probably set up a brewery over here um we mind some more of this out so that'd be a good thing to do as well but thank you for sticking with the series those of you that have actually watched all the episodes up to 10 i appreciate you um for now though we will uh leave our colonists here and i'll catch you on the next one